I wanted to talk about beauty water. Um, I think when I first started using SB, I treated myself to a beauty water and I left a review online about how much I liked it. And I never really talked about it again. I think for a lot of people who use SB normally, it's a given, like you have it and you know it and you love it and that's it. But for other people who are on the fence about it, I think you're not sure if you should splurge. So I just wanted to share uh, a little something I have found about beauty water for me, which is a comparison. So I started out with the original, the OG uh, beauty water with lavender, rose, and silk. And I bought it for myself because I just love, I love lavender and rose and rosemary. So if it's in anything, I'm probably going to buy it <clears throat> just as a treat. And I had never used my cellar water before and I just thought, we'll give it a try. And oh look, it was amazing. Um, I would use it, I would usually um, double cleanse and then use it after. So I didn't actually think it was going to be able to do anything, but of course it managed to pick up stuff on my face. I have no idea how it had hung on there. And it left this lovely scent and really, really refreshed. And I started using it all the time. And it definitely became, like in the morning, I wouldn't double cleanse, but I would always swipe off my night treatment with beauty water and then go on the day. And I'd sometimes treat myself to beauty water at night. So I was loving this and I was like, oh, this is this is great. It's, it's my cellar. Everyone's telling me it's my cellar water. So I'm a poor out of work actress. I'll go buy my cellar water because I was trying to save some pennies. But you know where this is going. So I bought this. It's um, simple brand, micellar water. And it says, like, no harsh chemicals, artificial perfumes, or dyes. Just so you know, it's real small. There's a little asterisk that says, that can upset your skin. So there's no harsh chemicals. That can upset your skin. Uh, I also found out this product is not cruelty-free. So double thumbs down on that. But moving on to just actually the product itself, got it home and I was like, oh look, I got all this micellar water for like the same cost. That's great. Yay me. I found like a dupe. No, we didn't. You guys, this, this is not this. I will happily trade you five bottles of this crap for a travel size of this miracle worker. So when I use the general brand micellar water, I mean, I guess it's doing something, but I, I couldn't tell you. I feel nothing. I feel nothing when I swipe it. I see nothing on the cotton pad. Like there's, there's nothing. I have used my beauty water after the, um, you know, regular micellar water, and it picks stuff up. So, the micellar water is not even getting my face truly clean. Um, to say nothing of the fact that it doesn't have the quality ingredients that this does, and the lovely aromatherapy. So, um, I just wanted to find out what your experience was and how much you might love beauty water and which one you love. I've used the peppermint water as well. And even though it's not a beauty water, I have the maple essence toner that I'm excited to use soon, but it doesn't have the cleaning surfactants is what I believe Adeline has um, told us. So I just want to say, if you are curious about beauty water or you don't get it, like you've never tried it, treat yourself to a sample size to start out with because this is seriously one of my top three favorite, favorite products. I cannot believe I went so many years without using this stuff, but also do not waste your time with these, they don't do anything. Like they literally don't do anything. This, this is like, this is like dessert for me. Seriously, I'll trade chocolate for this. That's all. Bye guys, have a great day. Happy Monday.